Hello all, let us simulate RC phase shift oscillator using a BGT. Okay, so oscillator is something which generates constant frequency output and RC phase shift is something uh, which uh, got its name by the RC circuit and then the phase shift uh, that is associated with the circuit. So each RC circuit here generates a 60 degrees phase shift and uh, combined three RC circuits together we get 180 degrees phase shift and this 180 degrees and uh, another 180 degrees that is generated by the BJT together uh, gives a 360 degrees at the output which is the required condition for the oscillator to happen. So the <coughs> output and input must be um, 360 degrees or 0 degrees uh, which means out in phase to have an oscillator output that is the primary condition um, for the oscillation to happen. So what we are doing basically here is we have a NPN transistor which is pulled to 47k by 9 volts so which means this transistor is always in on condition and <coughs> depending on this uh, um, pull up right uh, so the default condition basically and then we have a coupling capacitor at the output to capture the V out so and then we have 4.7k on the drain um, basically this is uh, the collector right BJT on the collector side uh, which is again uh, uh, pulled to 9 volts okay and then we have RC circuit three RC circuits uh, which have values of 1 nanofarad and uh, 10k resistance so if we calculate 1 by 2 into pi into R into C into S square root of 2 into N. So, how do we get square root of 2 into N here? Is basically what is this mean? Is N is nothing but number of chains of RC circuit. So, here we have 3, that means N is nothing but 3. So, to calculate the frequency of the circuit, uh, we uh, we are actually uh, using this formula and theoretically if we use R as 10k and C as 1 nanofarad and N as 3, we nearly get 10 kilo H. Okay, so this is what uh, is the frequency we get uh, uh, out of this circuit <coughs> and um, another criteria which is very very important is uh, the gain of the circuit so um, the gain must be greater than or equal to 29 uh, for this uh, circuit to oscillate that's another important percussion criteria which need to be um, satisfied uh, and uh, the phase shift of uh, uh, 360 degrees which is uh, uh, the percussion criteria and then um, we do have coupling cap as we mentioned at the output and then we are giving 9 volts here you can see the DC supply of 9 volts and we are doing a transient analysis with a stop time of 10 seconds okay you can uh, uh, change as per your requirement you can edit these values as per your frequency requirement and change the transistor um, as per your requirement now when we simulate this let us try to probe the V out that means the output of this capacitor and you can see it generates a, um, a sinusoidal waveform so let us uh, let it settle and we'll try to zoom in okay so if we <coughs> zoom in the value we can get uh, the desired uh, output so if you see here the point here is around 170.7 and the point here is around 170.8 which means approximately 0.1 uh, uh, millisecond difference in timing that means around 10 kilohertz um, which is the expected frequency so 
this circuit uh, is uh, generated using uh, the uh, oscillations are generated using uh, uh, the pjt here so finding the correct component values is crucial uh, to the operation of this circuit please post if you have any questions please let us know um, if you have simulated and you have any observations thank you